Hey guys, this is Tech It Out, and today I'm going to show you how to downgrade your iPhone from iOS 12 to iOS 11.4.1 without losing data. So, let's get started. So first what you want to do is go to the first link in the description at ipsw.me, and what you want to do is select the device that you're wanting to downgrade from iOS 12 to iOS 11. So for me it's going to be an iPhone, and iPhone 8, so I'm going to go find the iPhone 8, and mine is a GSM. And you want to just click iOS 11.4.1 and click download, and I would do save as, or just if you're using Google Chrome like me, it'll save it to downloads, and then you can put it wherever you want, but already have it downloaded as well as iBackup Bot for Windows if you're on Windows or Mac if you're on a Mac just go ahead and click there to download also have already have that installed and then what you want to do is go ahead and open iBackup Bot if you already have an iOS 11.4.1 backup skip ahead to the time shown on your screen so what you want to do assuming you're on iOS 12 is go to iBackup Bot and let it load up so once iBackup Bot is loaded, you want to go ahead and plug your iPhone in. My iPhone is actually running iOS 11 right now because I have already downgraded mine because it's a little bit of a pain to do this, but it's not too bad. So assuming yours is on iOS 11 or iOS 12, go ahead and back up now. Again, if you already have an iOS 11 backup, skip to the time shown on your screen. So go ahead and back up now, and you will it will show you will click back up and you will want to click back up to another folder and I would just I just normally save it to my desktop but you can of course save it to where wherever you want but I already have a backup just to show you so as you can see I do have an iOS 12 backup well I'm going to import one actually so this is a backup from when my iPhone was on iOS 12.0 as you can see here it's on 11.4.1 .1 right now but I'm going to show you how to downgrade this version here so it will restore to your phone. So what you want to do is go ahead and just minimize that and go to wherever you saved your backups, your iOS 12.0 backups. So wherever you saved your backup, go ahead and head there and click on the folder with your backup. Make sure not to change this unique GUID. So go ahead and just click on it and scroll all the way to the bottom to where you see info.plist and just go ahead and open it with text editor on Windows and with, um, or not text editor, with notepad on Windows and text editor on Mac. If you're on a Mac, you can just change the extension to .txt. So now what you want to do is click find, and you want to find 12.0, and just click enter. And it's going to have this little thing by string down here highlighted. So what you want to do is just backspace here, 11.4.1. And that's it. So now you just want to save. You want to close here. You want to save. And then you can close that. Now you can go back into iBackup Bot and you can refresh the backups. So now as you can see, clicking on the same backup, it says 11.4.1. .1. That is all you have to change. You don't even have to change the build number. All you have to change is that number right there. So now what you want to do, assuming you're on iOS 12.0, is go to iTunes. So now once you're in iTunes, go ahead and click on your phone, and as you can see, mine's on iOS 11.4.1, .1. but assuming you're on iOS 12, click Shift on a Windows and click uh, Restore iPhone. If you're on a Mac, click Option. So what you want to do is click Shift, Restore iPhone, and it will ask you to turn off Find My iPhone, so I'm going to go ahead and do that really fast. So now what you want to do is click Shift, Restore iPhone after you have turned off Find My iPhone. And then that iOS 11.4.1 .1 IPSW that you downloaded from IPSW.me, you should go and find. So for me, it's going to be on my desktop and in a bunch of folders right here. So then you see 11.4.1, .1. just click open. And I'm not actually going to restore this phone because it was a bit of a pain. But then once you get there, you're going to restore your phone and then it's going to ask to restore a backup. But I used iBackup Bot for this. So you would just connect your phone and click this button here and restore that modified backup where you change the info.plist. So then after that, what you'll want to do is go and find that backup in iBackup Bot and click your contacts. And this is how you will restore your contacts to your iPhone because any downgrade like this, like I don't know if you remember last year where you could do shift update from iOS 11 to iOS 10, it would delete all your contacts. It's the same way here. It's just a little bit different way of downgrading. So you would just need to go to your contacts here and it would 
just have all your contacts listed, all their phone numbers and all their contact information. And so you would have to manually input those into your iPhone. But that's pretty much it. So thank you so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, go ahead and subscribe to my channel. And if you really enjoyed it, go ahead and like it. And if you have any issues, leave them down in the comments below and I'll try to get to them as soon as I can. Again, thank you so much for watching. I'll catch you in the next video. Peace.